enriched so i am also showing you all of these products so that you get to know in short different experiences which i had at aliexpress so it's not that all sellers are just fooling uh, around or just trying to take money from people and then just say bye but some are real authentic and good sellers so next i got these three line crime oh <laughs> line crime velvetines um i'm having the shade bleached and two of them are cashmere actually i brought four one more bleached here and a few cashmere um two of these shades for my sisters and the same two for me so whenever she'll come here i'll give it to that smile <laughs> So I'll just show you one how it is. Like this is cashmere again written lime crime on it in the same way it has the shade cashmere with all the different details. I don't know whether it will focus now, but this is how it is. Beautiful shade. It is almost like this embellishment. No, it's a bit lighter. I thought it is. The shade which is above this one is the Lime Crime one. This shade would go on fairer people. Like for me, both of these shades just wash me out like anything. And so I don't apply these much often. So yeah, these were it and then coming more onto the end, I'll show you these brushes. Um, these are the four blending, blending brushes I just got. These are having these numbers on them. Like here. It is a 222. Two, two. then two three nine then two two four and two one seven this is two two four it's here two two four so these are all of these uh, blending brushes which i got and uh, these are like a dupe for the mac ones like the shape and stuff i cross-checked were the same except there is no such brush as this one I'm just this two 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 there's no such brush as such in their list uh, as of i know if there is i'm sorry for that but yeah these were the dupe ones for the mac br mac brushes so i got these four then as you've seen me using this cute little puri the chubby mermaid fish tail kind of brush this is that all-in-one brush brought off aliexpress i've already made a small short review video on this do check it out as well i'll link it surely so this was purchased on this as well then i also got this eyelash curler this curls my lashes like seriously i love this then i got this highlighter fan brush from aliexpress as well and um yeah how do i forget this this tiny beauty now just look at this size don't mind it's dirty but the size over here you can see how small it is this seemed to be this big in the photographs what i received was this <laughs> uh, this is like a bigger version of the mini beauty blenders i guess but yeah this works doesn't expand in water nothing of that kind it's just a normal sponge but this is good it is not that bad it is not that hard but it is not that soft you understand properly 
so this was it and one more thing i would like to say i also ordered three beauty blenders it was a set of three and i was waiting like for so long for these beauty blenders but they never arrived uh when i was in singapore um i got a message from aliexpress saying that your purchase protection that is your buyer protection is gonna end soon so please ask the seller to extend your purchase protection it is like purchase protection is a kind of contract which protects you your money like um it protects your order um specifically on aliexpress like you are prepaying it right so if you don't receive the order in future you can claim for it directly first ask the seller for a refund or ask him to send you another product like i got this like if it's um not in product uh, shape size or you just don't like it you can uh, open up a dispute for it ask the seller first if the seller agrees to it then there's a mutual uh, conversation then you can you know deal it there itself mutually but if the seller does not respond to you you can escalate the dispute to aliexpress then their um, representative will look into the matter and both the seller and the buyer would get equal chances and they can give their proofs where they are claiming uh, whatever they want to claim like xyz and um then if you are right then you get your refund via aliexpress even if the seller is not ready to do so but but you should have this buyer protection still going on like when you place your order like different uh, sellers are having different buyer protection like some are having 39 days it shows up like on your tracking it shows that 39 days 54 minutes some 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 stuff seconds left for your protection to end but that day i was uh, left with like uh, 6 days or 5 days for my protection to end i messaged the seller when i reached in my hotel at night i messaged the seller regarding this and i asked him to kindly extend my buyer's protection so i had three such orders which needed extension of their protection uh, two of them the sellers did extend my protection um but this third seller uh, messaged me that um ma'am i'm not able to extend your protection due to some um what he said that uh due to some restrictions yeah he used this word uh due to some restrictions on aliexpress which is not allowing him to extend the buyer's protection for me it was a new thing because i'm buying from such a long time and i have got my buyer's protection extended so many times i and i never got to hear this from anybody like but i was like okay fine it, there might be something fine there can be something happening with the a site or something something going wrong like the person is saying so i believe them and he even guaranteed me he was like don't worry for your order friend i guarantee you about your order even if you don't receive this in future i guarantee that i would refund the money to you so need not worry about the buyer's protection so i was so calm when the seller is telling me that i guarantee you about it even if you don't receive it i am there sitting here i am not running away so i being a simple indian girl i believed him and it's like 3 months around now the two orders the three which i have i spoke before the two orders also for which i got my buyer's protection extended did not arrive so i messaged the sellers as well uh, for a long time they kept telling me like please check with your uh, local um uh, post office i kept checking there as well but they just didn't have it so finally they re- refunded me they gave my money back and the third one which um, this beauty blenders had ordered from the one who guaranteed me i kept messaging him daily he stopped replying he just stopped replying 
and I got so raged that I was like okay fine don't reply to your messages I'm opening a dispute against you because from such a long time I'm trying to keep calm and I'm talking to you in a straight way but you just don't understand it so now we'll see it uh, I'll see you there so but when I tried opening a dispute there was a dialogue dialogue box telling me that you can open dispute only after 15 days of receiving the items I was like oh god I never received the items so I checked there it was like in the buyer protection period as it ends the order is auto confirmed from the system and this uh, buyer did not confirm on its own but as the buyer's protection ended the order got auto confirmed and I just lost it I was like what the F the protection wasn't there with me even when I tried to tell that seller that I need my protection to get extended he did not extend I mean that was a trick he played with me cause he didn't extend my protection period because if he would have extended it and I would not have received it I could escalate this issue to aliexpress via dispute and get a full refund but as i had no buy protection the order got auto confirmed i could not do anything i lost my money i never received the products the seller is just not replying i mean i have seen so many like thousands of reviews about this from other countries and like 41 to 50 reviews from india as well they have shown me the pictures like they've received it only i don't know why i didn't receive it and they were just so good quality blenders that i really wanted but this was the sad story like you in short i'm telling you that you get through different kind of sellers on aliexpress it's just that you need to be aware and just like me just Keep a track on your buy protection period and do not let it end. If it comes to end, just contact the seller. He will extend it from his side. They only have the right to do it and they have to do it. If they don't do it, please don't get fooled like me. Otherwise, just contact AliExpress that the seller is not extending your um, bias protection. And if you're having any, any, any issue, contact AliExpress customer service. They give you a live chat instantly, instantly solving all your issues. And this way it will really help you. So this was my not so short um, video and little bit of experiences I had on AliExpress part one. So I hope you guys really liked it and if you did please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel The Trend Diaries right below. Next to the name The Trend Diaries you have that subscribe button and just next to that subscribe button you have a tiny bell icon. Remember to click on that so that you get subscribed to my channel and you get notified about more videos i will make in future and um yep this was it for today's video i hope you guys really liked it so till then it's me nidhi jain signing off bye